Welcome to Friday Morning Prayer as we admire the beautiful work of German woodcarver and sculptor Thielmann Riemann Schneider. Through Christ, let us offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. The opening canticle, a song of God's grace. We have complete freedom to go into the most holy place by means of the death of Jesus. He opened for us a new way, a living way, through the curtain, through his own body. Since we have a great high priest set over the household of God, let us draw near with a sincere heart and a sure faith, with hearts that have been made clean from a guilty conscience and bodies washed with pure water. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our Psalms this morning are Psalms 54 and 55, verses 1 to 12. Psalm 54 begins, Save me, O God, by the power of your name, and vindicate me by your might. Hear my prayer, O God, and listen to the words of my mouth. You may wish to pause the video here to complete the remainder of the Psalms. Holy God, through your beloved Son, you reconciled all things to yourself, making peace by the blood of his cross. Fill us and those for whom we pray with your peace and joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The reading this morning is from John chapter 8 verses 1 to 11. It begins, Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Early in the morning he came again to the temple. All the people came to him and he sat down and began to teach them. You may wish to pause the video here to complete the remainder of the reading. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The Canticle, Saviour of the World Jesus, Saviour of the World, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Saviour and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. A Collect for the Eighth Sunday After Pentecost O God, you alone can order our unruly wills and affections. Teach us to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that among the changes and chances of this world, 
our hearts may surely there be fixed where true joys are to be found. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. You may wish to pause the video here to make intercessions, prayers and thanksgiving. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen.